Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another community zoo tour. And in this video, we are going to check out this beautiful northern European zoo called Robin's Emerald Moss, made by Robin Bird. Thank you so much, Robin, for sending your zoo to us for his showcase on the channel. We really do appreciate it. And if you have a finished zoo you would like me to check out on the channel as well, then please do make sure to read the description of this video of how you can send me your finished zoo and who knows i might be able to check out your zoo as well in the future on the channel now without further talking let's go and check out robin's emerald moss made by robin and uh, honestly uh, you were doing me a very big favor to also add some signs in your zoo so i should be able to pretty what is that pretty easily look at this that's cute pretty easily find the way through this beautiful zoo so we start here with a beautiful, pretty uh, nicely detailed entrance right over here. I like these little uh, planks right over here to give that extra touch of detail. Look at this. We have some decals and stuff. Oh, this looks really nice. Love the decals in here as well. And like these, these uh, shutters and, and things. Oh, man. This looks already really good. All right, let's let's go. Oh, the amount of details. Wait, what? Oh wow, that looks incredible. Oh, I really love how you set this all up. Amazing work. Right. Okay, let's go in here. Look at all these details here as well. Sorry, guys. I uh <laughs> was like, oh yeah, let's go through, but it all looks so good. Oh, I love the little fences right over here. Little planks here for guests to not like slip or anything with the rocks being wet. Oh, wow, this is gorgeous. I love this viewing here with this beautiful sign. Just notice the rock work and stuff. This is really beautiful looking. Let's go down here. Oh, I love it that you have like this many terrain and stuff, like like different height elevations. This looks incredible. The tour, one, one out of 24. Look at this beautiful waterfall. Oh, wow. Robin, you did such an amazing job on this zoo. Absolutely incredible. So let's go up here. Robin Garden. Allotment. I'm not really sure what that means. Allotment. I'm not even sure if I pronounce it right. Look how beautiful this looks. I love the little lamps here in the tree. There should be a nice viewing here. Oh, it does. Oh, look at that. Gosh, this, this kind of reminds me a little bit of that little um, dwarf's house of Walt Disney of, of Snow White's. It's so cute. Oh, what a beautiful viewing. I love it that this zoo is, is again, like ex so different from what we have seen so far on the channel. I love your style. I love all the colors. It's beautiful. It really is. Look at this with the sunflowers and stuff. Can we go actually up here? Robin's rest. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. The, the use of the flowers and stuff. It is so pretty. It's so gorgeous. Look at this. I want to rest here. It really looks so amazing. Absolutely well done, Robin. And we're just getting started in here. Can you imagine? We can go, oh, look at this, a little garden. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, this is cool and good. I tried to say that both at the same time. Oh man, this is beautiful. I love all the details in here, all the, the decals and stuff that you used. Like this, the little extra edge here on the roof. It looks so freaking good. 
Can we just stay here, like rent a little house and just enjoy the beauty? Wait, no, we already missed the sun. <laughs> oh gosh. Robin, I hope I will not forget anything. Oh, it might be here. Okay, no, we're doing a great job. We are doing a great job. We are following all the signs. Look how beautiful this all looks. Wait, this path, we should not go further. Oh, we have to follow deer here. Oh, look at this beautiful habitat. head. Oh, there's one beautiful here. Sleeping. Your foliage work and rock work is so gorgeous. Absolutely amazing job. I seriously just want to go here in real life and enjoy. Look at this viewing. Oh, it's so peaceful and relaxed and quiet here. It really is. I really like how this is all set up. It's so cozy. Oh, little badger. Look at the rock work again. Really like your rock work. It looks so natural. I like it that you have like this viewing here towards the burrow. And then a viewing here. And then like the different height elevations in this habitat. It just looks perfect. Okay, tour five from 24. Just look at the rock work and the foliage work here. Really is so good looking. Really love the fences around here. Love this little sign. It's beautiful. So we just go straight forward here. Ah, oh, little area here to relax. I love how this is open for the tree. Man, this is so inspiring. What a beautiful area. Look at this, the Alpine Ibex. Love this little building right over here for some shelter. Oh, can we just walk to there? I just want to see. Look at this, how cool this looks. And this is the gate. Little keeper's hut inside of here. This is beautiful. Oh, wow. I'm so impressed by the beautiful nature. The rock work, the terraforming, it all looks so incredibly good. <gasps> I hear the arctic fox. I love the arctic fox. Okay, let's just follow the signs right over here. Dewey's Pine? What? Is that like a little name reference to someone maybe that you know and it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna name this pine after you. I, I would love that. That was so cute. Oh man, I actually wanted to build something like this early and I couldn't find the right logs for it. But they're just in a construction uh, area it seems. Because that looks so good. Man, just look at all the decals and stuff. Wow, it's just almost unreal. Like, is this in Planet Zoo? It looks so beautiful. <gasps> oh, wow, look at the inside. This is incredible, the amount of details. Oh, it's a horse stable, Shavalsky's horse stable. What? Look at all these rocks and stuff. You did such a fantastic job on giving this, like, this very old vibe. Oh, wow. I am so impressed by this. Like, I don't know where to look and, and just to imagine, like, what pieces you all... Like this. What pieces you all used to achieve this. What? <laughs> Gosh, why are you making so much noise? <laughs> this is incredible. Oh my goodness. I love this building. I've never seen anyone tr even trying to make like, like broken walls like this. It, ugh, man, I'm speechless again. It is so good. 
the tour okay we go this way look how incredibly gorgeous it's like an open field with some rocks here and there with some beautiful grass like so stunning look at that windmill oh wow oh, this is so freaking beautiful love the statue here uh, it all feels so natural and so realistic okay we go to eight look at this beautiful building ah <gasps> It all feels a little bit fantasy-ish as well, but correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just some some vibe that I'm getting, like with also with the Snow White little building. I'm not saying per se Disneyland, but it has like this really cute fantasy vibe over it. And I, oh man, I love fantasy. If you guys have seen my Planet Coaster series, I absolutely love fantasy. So this is totally, uh, this is totally my style. I, I just, oh man, this is such a beautiful hazard as well. I'm just so impressed by, by all this architecture. I mean, look at this. <gasps> what? Look, look, look at this. I just don't know what to say. This is just so good. The walls here and stuff. Oh, I just had no idea that you can achieve this way of building. I've never seen anything like this before. It is so freaking good. Wow, so impressive. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. I just don't know what to say. It is, it is amazing. Okay, we're just going to follow the path right over here. Uh, this one is pointing to 20, so maybe, maybe we should go back just a tiny little bit. Maybe we should go this way. Yes. Great. Look at this sign. That looks so amazing. Just look at the background here with the windmill. It is so freaking gorgeous. A lovely sign here for the llama. What is this? Is this a little shop or something? Look at this! This is the restaurant kitchen! I really like how you decorated this all. And have this open. There are some seats right over here. Oh, this is so inspiring. Beautiful viewing. I... Uh, Man, I just can't get over the fact that what what we just saw with all these buildings, it's its so good. Some more beauty. Just like, I want to sit here. I want to eat some cake, drink some coffee, warm up a little bit, and then continue my way in this incredible zoo. Look at the walls or the fences right over here. It looks so gorgeous. Guys, again, one of those zoos to go in and make notes or take pictures to get inspiration. There is so much to see here. Again, I just can't believe how many zoos we see and feel that way. This is so freaking beautiful. This well. I mean, what? <laughs> Are we really looking at this? It is so incredible. What are we not going to miss out on this little area if we follow that path? Just wow, look at this. There are so many like Arctic pieces used in this one as well. Like I would never think of using it like like that, but it works super well. This edge right over here and this one. It shows how great the Arctic pack actually is. Like the things you can achieve with it. This is gorgeous. Is this the... Oh, it is the Arctic Fox. I'm not entirely sure. The tour... Okay, no. We're, we're just going back. We are just going back. I just don't want to miss out on anything that is building this gorgeous zoom. Look at these walls. Ugh, I keep saying walls, fences. Gosh, that looks so good. 
And then with like the rock, we're gonna foliage work around here. Oh, there are some bears here. Oh, we almost forgot about this, this awesome building as well. You see again, like the use of some kind of pieces in here, how you use it. It's really your own style and it's looking so freaking good. Wow, I just can't believe what I'm seeing. You did such a fantastic job on this, Robin. The shield and pizza. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it looks really good. <laughs> wow. The interior. Oh my goodness. I love this sign here to measure. Oh my goodness, this is so good. <laughs> it's fantastic. Everyone, tell Robin that it's so fantastic in the comments. Like, it really is. It's so good. We can go down here. Okay, let's go down. Oh, wow. Look at this awesome cave right over here. Rockwork looks great. And then the combination here with some walls. Oh, again, over here, it looks so freaking good. Love the tree log sticking out here. Oh, wow. So impressive. So much inspiration going on in the zoo. It's ridiculous. Oh, man. I love the foliage work in this house as well. And, and all the green and stuff. It looks so gorgeous. This zoo makes me realize, like, oh, we have seen a really beautiful uh, zoo as well with, like, a lot of terraforming and in, like, a pretty, no, well, not the same style. It definitely looks completely different, but also completely super gorgeous. I forgot the name of the zoo. And uh, these zoos, they, they just make me realize, like, I really need to uh, work on my terraforming more. I love how you did just stick that into the, the, the rocks. Look how beautiful this looks as well. This is a glass wall <laughs> or fence. <laughs> also like the planter in the middle with all these rocks. And then the flowers here and there. This awning looks absolutely beautiful. The rock organ terraforming in here as well looks amazing. Oh, wow, it's so impressive. Could go down here. Look how cool this looks. What? It's insane. Like, I just wonder, like, I, I would never think of the amount of different pieces that you're using and it makes it look so freaking good. Oh, wait, what is that? Eurasian links? There's some water here. Can an animal reach that? Or it's just a design. Oh my, whatever it is. This looks so cool. Oh, wow. It's so impressive, isn't it? Was this the way that we had to follow, by the way? Not entirely sure, but let's go back a little bit. Just look at this olive tree. In the middle here with Missy Good. It's a beautiful stand right over here. And then at, like the picnic bench, you can sit under the olive trees. That's so cool. Viewing into the Eurasian lynx habitat, which looks so beautiful. Also with these platforms here in the back where they can climb onto. Oh man, it's so beautiful. Every corner that we look. So inspiring. I think we need to go this way. Yeah, let's just follow the path right over here. This gorgeous area. Another sign. There we go, 13. Oh man, your architecture. With the moss. I like, I never touched the moss yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> you are probably the one. That is convincing me to use the moss because it looks so good. I love this little building. 
these are actually exhibits in here. But again, like these ruins. Oh, wow. I really had no idea you would be able to achieve this amazing stuff with the decals. Oh, man, these, these little, little uh, branches sticking out. There is so much to see in here. It looks so amazing. So where do we... I think we just need to go further right over here. Man, the fences look so impressive here. Let's go up here a little bit. But first enjoy this beautiful building here as well. Like look at these awnings, the green on top, all the different type of logs that you used. The stone, oh man, the stones here with like the row pieces and it's all just perfect. And it's it's like a little bit messy as well in a way, like really getting these old ruin vibes in here. You did that so freaking good. Oh man, there are even some cups in here. That's so adorable. Look at what they're laying on. What are these planks even? What? The African wall decorative shutters. Oh wow, they work so perfect. In like a climbing frame or, or something. In oh, I would never have thought of that. Just all this rock work. It's insane what you did here. It is so beautiful. Okay, tour 14. I think we need to go up. Oh, we actually are not allowed to go up, but we are. <laughs> we are going up here a little bit. Because it's so gorgeous. Like you can tell you did a little bit less. Well, actually, look at this. This is the back side of this building. And even that one is super highly decorated and gorgeous. Wow. I really wonder, like... Did you do this all out of your head or were you like having some examples or something? Just look at this, how perfect this all looks. Oh wow, this is so impressive. With the rope pieces and the glass and the metal. Like I need to step up my game, man. This is so good. Just these different, different height elevations, different angles. It is so perfect. And then not to mention all the climbing frames in here that look absolutely fantastic. Just how? How? It is so good. Oh look, we actually almost forgot to check the Wat Water Buffalo. With this beautiful habitat, look at the bridge here. And again, some beautiful foliage work and rock work in here. It's just mind blowing. I also love this, like, it's it's all decorated everywhere. The only thing I do not know now is where we need to go. That is 20, so maybe this way? Because I feel like we are going that way. Oh, that's 15. Okay, okay, we're going back. I missed I missed the sign most likely again. But we're gonna do this the right way. <laughs> we go back here. 14 goes that way. This should be good. Beautiful viewings. Everywhere. I would go over the beautiful bridge. Nice, more plain area right over here for the wild water buffalo. Beautiful shells are here, like integrated in the mountain. Looks absolutely fantastic. Wow, also this building is just so well done. Insane stuff. All the little decorations, different height elevations. This little tower right over here with the little statue. It is so gorgeous. 
everything is. And I just can't get over how great this all looks with the amount of decals. Beautiful little shop area. Hello. <laughs> Gulpia and Excelente. Okay, let's go down here. Let's follow number 15. Also from this side, it looks really good. So inspiring. Okay, let's go over here. Tour to 16 to the right side, but let's enjoy this. Like, oh, I really, really think you should have such a great eye on this architecture, like to make everything look more interesting. It looks fantastic. You really am doing such a great job on it. This building looks just beautiful. Can we actually? Oh no, we cannot go inside. Okay, let's go this way. Oh man, I, I really don't want this to be over because this is so beautiful. Look at this area. Amazing building right over here. Is this like solar panels? Because that would be just so amazing if that would resemble that. I love that. Just look at the pathwork right over here. Wait, what? There's a path here. There's a path there. There's a path there. Is that like a beautiful... She look at this, how awesome that looks. This looks ridiculously good. Okay, we go around here. Look at this building. What? The sanctuary. Look how you made this. With the rope and then the pillar and then these guys from the Arctic pack, I'm assuming. Wow, and there's a metal. Oh, wow, it's so impressive. Okay, let's go inside here. What? Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It is insane. Holy cow, I love the interior in here. I love the lamps here. Love the lighting, all the windows. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is a little indoor area, including water. Oh wow, so impressive. Really so gorgeous. I'm speechless, guys. I just don't know what to say. Look at this, the moat here. And how you decorated the sides here. It's ridiculously good. They agree. <laughs> what an amazing habitat. And especially like the viewing gallery for this habitat. Just wow. This is one of the most beautiful buildings that I've ever seen on the channel so far. Wow. So impressive. I, I do want to see. Oh, these are from the conservation pack. Oh, they are perfect for interiors. They really are. Wow. Robin. I'm just jealous at your skills at this point. This is just so freaking good. Oh, the red crown crane in here. And then this is probably connected to that habitat as well. There are a few connections here, but I'm not entirely sure how it works. But this is a really cool way of giving guests different angles to look into habitat. Oh, sign tour 18. Go that way. Wow, this is so impressive. Look at that building here. What an awesome area. Incredible stuff. Really well done. What? There's a little, uh, there's someone playing some music here with a guitar. John. John, you can, you, my boyfriend is John. He's a musician. <laughs> he sings, plays guitar. Johnny E, music. You can find him on YouTube. 
But this is so cool, John. You can you can just play here. <laughs> Sing us some music. Oh man, I love that. Oh wow. Okay, where where do we go? We came from here. Do we need to follow this path? Oh, look at this. Oh, I love the green. Actually, I never thought it would look that good. I know it's in there, but I was like, oh, I'm never gonna use that. But this actually looks really good. Oh, I'm so surprised it does. Beautiful capybara house hat. Look at this rock work again. Oh, this is insane. It's so gorgeous. Oh, wow. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, I love this little cabin that they have. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> little spa area. Oh, wow. This is so fantastic. What a beautiful little corner for the copy bar. Absolutely amazing. Love the wall here as well, by the way, with the planter. Really beautiful area. Okay, that looks like a staff building, but I also really like how this is all integrated here in the rocks. Okay, bye, John. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go up right over here. A little playground, a little swing. Oh, wow. And then if we go up here, there's a little restaurant area, I'm guessing. Yes, there's a little shop. You can even go up right over here. Look how beautiful the tables look. It's gorgeous and you have a nice viewing into the zoo. Fantastic stuff. Oh, look at this with the waterfall. It's so beautiful. Oh, look at these things. Just to give some shelter for these guys or just decorations. I actually couldn't, I can't tell, but look how awesome this looks. <laughs> it's amazing. Like, how do you even think of that? Is there a zoo that has this? It looks amazing. It's so gorgeous. Just notice all the concrete right over here. How you blend everything in with the path and, and the, the architecture. It's it's so freaking good. Did you do any like uh, architecture course or, or like study? I mean, I... Uh, I'm just mind blown by the amazing architecture in here. Look at this beautiful habitat. I love the fencing here as well. Really gorgeous stables or shelter building. No, let's have a look. Oh, I really do like this. I love the, the gate here as well. That looks fantastic. I can't get over these things, like, it's incredible. Okay, we're gonna follow the path down here. Uh, tour 20, so we go here. Oh, we go, oh no, I think we have seen it all. Because we have seen this, these beautiful buildings here as well. So I, I think it's sending us back, most likely, Oh, well, no. Actually, this is a different path. Isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Beautiful sign here. Oh, no, this is... Uh, no, it's not. We have seen this all. Oh, no. Oh, well, this is the Arctic Fox. We have not been on this side. Man, these guys are just so cute. I love the, the wall here as well, by the way. Rock, rock and foliage again is just incredible on point there are beavers in here just look at this building as well it's so fantastic such an incredible area love this as well with the green such a beautiful building here hello absolutely amazing Arctic Fox habitat. Arctic Fox is just great. 
Left the little rocks here in the middle as well and right over here. It's so nicely decorated also here. It's just it's in the small little details. Like every rock that you put differently, it just adds to the amount of details in your zoo. It's just fantastic. It really is. We've been there already. Oh, oh man, I love the Arctic fogs. I do feel like I lost a little bit. Oh no, tour 22. It's going this way. But we have been here, but I've been cheating, <laughs> most likely. Maybe this way. Tour number one, no, it's, it's pointing towards the end, I'm afraid. Towards the entrance, which is right over here. I don't know exactly because I feel like I've been missing one or two let me just check the animal list to be sure it really looks like we have seen all the animals but man robin this was so beautiful i really enjoyed this zoo tour being completely different again from what we have seen recently on the channel and it's just so stunning and i just really admire your own way of, of using pieces and your own architecture like it's super her impressive thank you so much for sharing the zoo with us really do appreciate it and to everyone watching right now please leave something nice for robin in the comments down below and also go to that steam workshop page and just leave that like on the steam workshop because i really really deserve it it's just absolutely incredible let me know in the comments down below what was your most favorite part of this zoo leave a like the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!